they were doing a basic manga animation compositing type video, right? So, uh, disclaimer, this might not be the best way to do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is how I do it, and I don't think I'm good at it. But people be asking, you know what I'm saying, how to do this. So, I thought I'd do a little quick tutorial. So, what I got right now is I got this Diego picture, right? Which I cut out, upscaled and everything. Uh, and what I did, just for now, I just cut out all his hair. So, as you can see, this is a bit silly here, but I, you, you'll see. So, I got all his hair, like, singled out. And what I did is I exported it here onto different PNGs. So what I can do now, obviously I see some people doing it on After, no, yeah, on After Effects. But I like doing it on Photoshop because that's just how I do it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, just make the hair move. So this is where like having it all separate layers comes in handy because what I'm just going to do, is I'm just going to single one out, like for example this one here. And for this, I'm going to be using script, right? So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the uh, puppet tool and I'm going to create three points, one on the beginning, one in the middle, one on the end, right? And I'm going to go to file, scripts, run script file, and I'm going to run this one here. I'm going to put it in the description as well. So once I run this, as you can see, it's plus. Okay, well, that's the song. I'm using this song as well. For now, I'm gonna put that down though, that's mad lad. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do really. Just adds a little sway, sat and light, you know? So, if you play it now, you'll see all the hairs moving. Uh, Like I said, I don't want the bottom one to be moving that much, just one over here. This one over here, even. So I'm going to go to head 2 and I'm going to change uh, the frequency, maybe like 0 0.25. So as you can see now, it's going to move much less. Like so. And I'm going to do is well add a camera real quick. You know, just have a little zoom out and that's it. Sound like. So for example, as I got a little like just upwards motion because you see from this perspective, it's kind of like angled. The perspective goes from like up here to like down here, you know what I'm saying? So we have to zoom out like this. You know what I'm saying? So cool. All right. So what I did was I added like a background here, right? So I made it 3D and I pushed it back to maybe like 2.5k on the on the z-axis right and because it's not the right perspective as the picture added corner pin right and what corner pin does is like you can change the perspective you know what i'm saying so here's the if i make the picture here here's the original picture right no here's the original picture like this corner pin makes me like move each corner to like fit the perspective i want in it so I added it like, made it kind of tilt and then I made the bottom kind of wider than the top. So we have like this, you know, I'm saying the right perspective kind of. All right, so I flipped it just so I can get the light in the right place that I wanted it to be in. Because I want the light to come in from this angle. And then we have the shadows on this side, okay? some drop shadows so i like using the B the bcc one i'm gonna copy and paste it onto all of them in like 90 because it's, it's so close to the face um soft softness i'll make it like five no 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 make it seven there we go Okay, so on this one, how do we want this? Intensity is going to be stronger. A hey, The distance is going to be like... I 
I want the angle to not go. So I don't want the angle to not be on his face, you know what I'm saying? All right, so these are the effects I'm going to add to the Diego layer. I haven't, I haven't made an adjustment layer just to like, just remember like the settings and all that. So let me make these no longer thing. All right, so first I'm going to do it at the drop shadow, okay? So this is the normal drop shadow. Add it on to the pre pump. So as you can see, it just removes them completely. So the settings we have is we have the shadow only, as you can see. So, um, don't worry about these for now. We're just gonna mess with it later. So I'm just gonna fix this, put it like that. So we have this shadow here. So the next thing we wanna add is set matte. Then I wanna add CC composite. Cool. So what CC composite does is that it just composites the original clip with the effects we have on top. So for example, um, we can now see the shadow of the former drop shadow on top of our thing. Okay. We're going to put on S underscore gradient. Remember, these are the, make sure you copy these effects or like these settings really. Oh yeah, don't, don't copy these ones yet. Just copy these ones. So on the gradient, we have just a black to a white. And what we want to do, we want to have like the white start closer to the, to the, um, to the light source. So here, for example, and the darkest is going to be the one that's keeping that. Darkest would be obviously away from the light source. Cool. Uh, copies these settings here with Malt, Normal, Copy from Input, and Luma. What I like to do is have a plain. Not a plain. Is to have um, a duplicate here. And then add deep glow and then add this and then because of the so I'm actually waffling right now because of the drop shadow and the gradient we're able to just highlight the area we want. I'm gonna put the drop shadow's opacity quite high. Okay, so I like this. As you can see, we have it. It's really bright, but as you can see, it is a white light with a tint enable, and I'm just gonna put in like this over here. I'm gonna mix it at like twenty five. Just play around with it really. See what I like it. I want to put a dark orange. Alright, so now in the looks, I have these six things applied. So we're saturation. Put on some quite on orange a little bit. I'm going on 80% because without it, it's kind of like atomic, really. You don't want to be that red. Got diffusion, diffusion kind of like blends all like the glowing colors together, kind of. So it adds like a smooth transition. Warm cool, this is very important because this is what it's like without it. But when we add the warm cool, we make it just warmer, you know what I'm saying? As, as like the name implies. Make it darker as well. Um no, actually I kinda like that. We don't want it to be too much though, so. I see a big difference on the curves. I wanted to just add a bit of highlights though, so just buying up the scene. You could do without it. I might have to just make the shadows away. Uh, color restore, you know, just messing around a bit, really. You can do, we can do every one of this. You want a really orange. I 
than auto shoulder. Cool. So as you can see, it has a big difference. Uh, I'm starting to feel like the, the load might be a bit too much. I'm going to put it on like 0.7. There's an adjustment layer. I'm going to add some lens flare. I like using BCC lens flare 3D. I like this one. What we'll do first, we're going to use comp camera just to like avoid any like mishaps. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flick through until I find one I like. This is a bright light. I don't know if this I think it might be too bright though. Like even if I make it put it down a little bit like for you. Okay, this could work. I don't know. Cool. So back into the looks. I might want to add uh edge softness, right? And just make sure we have like the subject in the focal length. So we want the background to be kind of blurry, everything blurry, but like the subject is you know obviously the subject so it just kind of directs the viewer's eyes to what we want to see hey 145 is cool so i'm gonna quickly just do this and last the entire thing i'll just add a little because it's the same as the camera I'm just gonna copy these two and put it on the other layer as well. Just so we have like it gradually moving. As you can see, like it gradually brightens up his face. Actually, let me move this just to here. And I'm going to take it off this for now. And then on this one, I'm just going to take off the, the, the flare. I like how, having these effects on it. That's cool. Uh, but I'd have to move this over like here. Um, Braze. Do we want to raise on? Yeah, the polygons, that's what I like. Polygons. And this one. And long down to turn everything off but the stripe. So the stripe is now on. And I'm gonna just do that on top of his hat. I did this little like dust overlay. Sound like this. And I wanted to make it look like sand kind of. So I did uh color key, pin, and curves. I don't know, I haven't watched it back yet, so I don't know if it'll look good. It looks kinda of bright right now. Uh let me push this down. That's that's all right. And I also want to add some posterized time. So if you guys don't know what posterized time is, it kind of what reduces the FPS of the thing. And ultimately, it makes it more impactful because it doesn't... Because um, it's not so smooth, it's, it just... I know, it feels better. I'll show you, show Doesn't this just look beautiful for him? I'm going to make it so like the sun gets dimmer somehow. So over here, uh, where is it? This lens flare is a big one. So I'm going to put the intensity and we go down to like 15. And then uh, just for like another set of
just a blur really have a blur again while it zooms in and then i'm gonna add overall just like a gradual camera shake and on this one we have the amplitude on like 0 0.2 and the frequency on like 4 so let me put it on quarter so we can actually watch it back So, wrong one. I meant to put this on one. And then this one's open as well. Maybe this one's open. Alright, so obviously because I'm the GOAT, I'll put the project file in the description. So you guys can just take it and say it's yours, you know how it is. I mean look, it's not a light now crazy, it's cool. It's cool. But yeah, uh this is just like I don't know, I mean it just looks cool. That's it really. Um if you want more tutorials then just say something and uh, maybe I'll do it. We'll see. Time will tell.